Hey, this is Seth Winning, and welcome to another Income Movie Review. Today, I went to see Mamma Mia 2. Now, most sequels are just pretty much like the original movie, but it had a little bit extra. And Mamma Mia 2 does not disappoint. This time, they took a kind of a... Well, it's kind of like The Godfather 2, where you explain the story, but you go deeper. In this case, Sophie is having a baby. Sophie is having the daughter of Meryl Streep's character, Donna. This movie basically explores what young Donna is. Played by Lenny James. Lenny James was in Baby Driver. That's where you're going to probably recognize her from. And she did a good job in Mamma Mia 2. Where she goes through, you know, graduating from high school, Catholic girl school, and forming the Belladonnas and going on tour and searching for something different. After she becomes successful, she searches for something different and journeys all the way to Greece, and that's where she meets Sophie's three fathers. This is all in the framework of Sophie rebuilding the hotel on the island and trying to make it to live up to what her mother built. So it's kind of a multi-generational need. A need to create... I need to connect throughout the generations, and that's why Cher was invited to play Grandma. It was good. And when I get the feels, I took my girlfriend Janelle and Dasher and Dancer, her kids, not their real names, to the movies, and we all had a fun time. Dancer really wanted to see it, and it was her birthday, so that's why we went. And I'm not filming them because, uh, because they're back home in Chattanooga and the time we saw it, we just ran out of time to film. Everyone was hungry and, you know, you know, and eat. So in Dasher and Dancer's absence, they really liked it. It was all about connecting the generations and adding new characters like Grandma and Sarah. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of hard to think of her as a grandma. She may be, but, you know, it's different. <laughs> the only problem I found with this movie is that Emma doesn't have enough hits. They had to reuse Dancing Queen and some of the bigger hits, Mamma Mia, and the title drag, of course. They had to fill this film with filler. I think it was filler because the first song was One Egg Kiss the DJ. And I've never heard of it. Apparently, it's one of one of their songs. Not a hit. And this, and this is problematic for the other groups because a lot of groups don't have a lot of hits. Like, if you read about the Beatles, you can fill up probably nine movies. But Abba had a short shelf life, basically only in the 70s, only in the disco era. And anyway... You know, those songs really didn't. They added to it, but they weren't as the high highs of uh, the original Mamma Mia, where every song was hit, bang, bang, bang. Otherwise, the story was good. Janelle started crying in the movie, and, you know, good cry. She enjoyed it. So it worked for her. That's really what counts, because she's in the main demographic of who they're aiming at. I think you should see it. If you like the first one, you'll like the second one. <laughs> and that's how they plan. If you like this video, click like, subscribe, visit my links in the comment box below. Hit my notification bell if you want to be notified of these videos. And I'll see you in the movies. Just excuses made to not change.